All right, YouTube, today we're going to play uh, Adrian Sullivan's list from the Pro Tour. It's very much kind of like a turbo Niv Mizzet deck. Like, there's four Nivs in the main deck here, and there's four treasure maps to help kind of uh, turbo them out. Now, this deck's kind of got a little bit less of everything else you'd imagine. Like, there's only whatever, these two ionizes, uh, two syncopates, and a spell pierce. There's only five counter spells. There's only, you know, three clarions. Uh, not too many other, well, I guess there's plenty of other threats, but a little more than normal, but less than, like, the four Teferis, four Enigma Drakes, or four Crackling Drakes. And I think that's because once you get this in play, Niv is going to make your deck smaller because... Whether you're playing Magic with Nib or your opponent's answering Nib, you're going to draw cards and get closer to finding your other pieces. And then you have such good selection of the treasure maps. Um, so I'm already in a league. I played a little warm-up match earlier. And I played against Black Green and won that one. Felt like a, a pretty solid matchup. Um, spell Swindle with Carnage Tyrant, which made me enough mana to... Uh, explosion my opponent when I had Niv in play. Um, the deck also has dive down, which is kind of interesting. Like this is just kind of like a get Niv and like turbo Niv out and protect Niv kind of thing. Which I think the dive downs are really nice against like black green because I think that this deck would struggle a little bit against black green because it's not as much of a control deck as, as a straight Jeskai deck would be to be able to handle it. But, hey, Johnny, how's it going? How'd your stream go today? I, I, caught, I caught a little bit of it while I was at work. Watched a little bit on my phone while I was working on a paper. Yeah, it's taking a while to queue this queue up. Yeah, this, this version must, it just absolutely destroys the mirror. Like, when you've got these nibs, you're just going to run people over in the mirror. And you got he's got two Bane Fires on the sideboard, too. Which, the two Bane Fires seems a little excessive. Because you're, you're just so advantaged in the mirror anyways, that two of them seems like it doesn't, it's not super needed. Uh, okay, we're going to keep this. It's a little slow, but we've got a catch-up card and a brick wall. And we've got the best card in our deck. Lost Spirit, Storm, and Hardened Scales, and Man Issues. Okay. That Spell Spirit actually might be nice. Things outside the box, yeah. I mean, the Spell Swindle was kind of sweet. Like, I Spell Swindled a Carnage Tyrant against Black Green and got myself six treasures, which was pretty awesome. Let me play Niv with like dive down and a counter magnet up, which was cool. Let me counter anything. Can't counter that. So we're kind of we're still in decent shape as long as we hit our land drops, which we did. So let's just play this Drake here. Hold the fort. So I think on paper this Drake is worse than the Crackling Drake. But what it what it is is it's a it's a three-mana play, which is kind of nice against the aggro decks. History of Vanalia would kind of suck here. Okay. I'm going to go one drop, one drop, convoke. That's probably going to protect Sky Marcher Aspirant, if I had to guess. Yep. Made sense to me. Yeah. So we're gonna, there goes our Drake. We're going to get cracked. And then this settle should be pretty good. I mean, my opponent might play around it, but.
There's still a chance we still get to spell pierce something. Here anyways, because I doubt we're gonna draw like we're gonna have something really good to do next turn. I'm just not I'm not gonna do anything about this. Um two four five. My opponent plays a history. I guess we're going to do this because we can expansion, explosion, one of these next turn. My opponent plays a history. It's going to kind of suck, but the next turn we can deal with the aspirant and draw a card. And then hopefully get in the Niv. Then we also just don't take damage, which is nice. All right, here's a veteran locks it on. So that idea goes out the window. All right, well. Three. Six. Three, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Lamb Pride of Conquerors would kill me. But I could have minus and got back the Conclave Tribunal, but I kinda wanna hit a land drop to get Niv in play. Get Lamb Pride of Conquerors. No, there's a Danto. Alish Marshall. Okay. I think we're on a no outer now. Because this is five. That's twelve. All right, they're gonna split this a little bit. Down goes to Fairy. So a Deafening Clarion would be nice. What does Niv do? Block here, take four, six, four, seven, ten, one left over. <clears throat> I think we're pretty dead. We'll see what goes on here. But uh, we don't have an answer to the board. The only thing that can really happen is like, I kill this and then eat one of these. Yeah. Block, take, million. Yeah, we're dead. <clears throat> Moto's taking a while. Slow and steady here. All right, so we want another settle. We want Nova, we want Lyra. Seal away. Star of Extensions, maybe. But it might be too slow. I'm gonna go with these expansions are probably too slow. The counter magic is probably too slow. Mana cost. Um, probably don't really need dive down.
Like, they're not going to have that much removal in their deck, and they're going to board most of it out, I think. So it's either bring in, like, Star of Extinction, keep a Niv in, or, like, Ixalan's Binding. All right, let's split the difference here. I want to keep Niv just because if, if Niv resolves, I don't know if it's right to do that or not, but if Niv resolves, then it's just going to like pick off all of their creatures. And I want to I wanna be able to like, because this deck isn't like, a, it doesn't seem like a super great control deck that you want to be able to just turn the corner quickly. Yeah, this hand's pretty solid. I'm going to play this tapped on one. Actually, I don't want to shock myself because I want to be able to play Clifftop Retreat and not be under like a lot of pressure or play uh, um, Treasure Map and not be under too much pressure. I'm going to shock anything. No, nope, that was probably not the right land to play. So we get to flip this, and then we're going to be able to just power out our deck. I also wonder, because of these treasure maps, like, how many cards are we supposed to, like, are we supposed to take that many nibs out, you know? I really want to work hard to not let that Adonto flip. I'm going to sandbag this Nova until for as long as I can. And I'm probably just going to take this here, save this seal away for an Adanto. Uh, I guess that the bodyguards put a little bit in the way there. I'm gonna get rid of this this bodyguard because it's gonna live through this anyways, and I would like to not. Uh, I'd like to make my supreme my cleansing nova as good as possible. It's a little mopey, but. <clears throat> Um, I'll put this on the bottom because it's just cycling. All we're going to do is cycle it anyways. That's effectively cycling it. Okay. So if they don't add anything to the board, I'm just going to play Teferi. Okay, so we're just going to play Teferi. The Hero of Dominaria. And if they want to spend their entire turn Conclave Tribunal on it, then whatever. We even have the out to be able to uh, um, like in a pinch we can Nova and get back our Teferi, but that seems a little loosey-goosey. That's what's going to happen here. But we can start working drawing cards next turn.
If I draw another sweeper, I might just go. But then they got to get back their Dauntless Vanguard. Nah, that's probably loose. I told they add something to the board so I can pull this off. Pull the trigger on this. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm gonna actually this binding is sweet. Get this back. Get my Teferi. It's the wrong land. <laughs> I get to draw a card. They can't cast another tribunal. So maybe there's a more tribunals worth having. I want another like like a disenchant effect. Okay, nice. Coming after my hero. Because if we have another disenchant, then we can we can beat bindings from our opponent. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, untap. Oh shoot. I forgot that like this one will work with it too. So I just lost out on my card there. But I get to untap too. Here. Alright, the world is my oyster. I thought I also like Miss Land drops this entire game. I should have Clary on there because I, I don't really want to settle my opponent that's so low on points here. Like I didn't even think about that. All right, we're going to draw a Nev. So we, we are already right, getting rid of the Teferi. Because we can actually draw a card and shoot one of these two. Okay. So red, white, shoot this up here. Now when they go to sack, we'll just draw a card and kill it. Okay. Or not. I don't even know if we play the land. At this point, this game's pretty over. Because I can't answer this Niv. We get to shoot a creature. <clears throat> I'm just going to chew through all of these. I want to save this treasure to be able to, uh, to kill something here. Up, shoot this here. Tick up. This goes here. Crack my opponent. Play a land. Yeah, I just scoop it up. Yeah, when the nib gets going. But my opponent also like missed their fourth land drop for a long time third land drop so 
I think I'm gonna have another binding in my deck on the draw. The binding being able to deal with my opponent's um, my opponent's binding or my opponent's conquest tribunal was nice. And then I could probably cut one of these on the draw. Because we can get to this, we're fine. And then we just want this to seal the game up. The treasure chap. But well, the treasure mats do just kind of like push us over the top. So I guess one of these. I'm gonna, draw, I'm gonna bring one. I'm gonna bring one of these on. No, that's stupid. I'm gonna bring a dive down and then draw just to protect a Drake. Like my syncopates aren't gonna be that good. And I'd like to be able to make sure that if I get an ending the Drake down early, that it's got a block that it can. We had a really good draw that game. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we have removal all the way up. It's a nice draw. Makes it so that we can play on curve and then get tap lands in the play. We're going to need another white source, though. I'm glad that wasn't a Legion's Landing. Because it was a Legion, like, them flipping a Legion's Landing is, one, is a good way to beat us, I think. All right, first Niv doesn't work out, we got a second. Yeah, okay, here comes the Legion's Landing flip. Some good, like, a good inevitability. Just gonna take this out. Got a deafening clarion here would be sick. Be very nice. Might be too slow. This is two, four, five, eight. Shock to four. Yeah, we need a deafening clarion next turn, or we are dead as a doorknob. That's unfortunate. Block, take five. All right. Well, no, they just make a dude. Then we go block here, take six, and die. Huh. Well, that sucks. This wasn't much we could do. That was just with the list. I, I, I mean, let's we'll pull the deck up here when I go to pull up the next match. So they're bordered in these and these. I think they're. I don't think they're better than the rest of them. And I wonder if there's. Like maybe we just need another card. Like maybe this Banefire should be the third Deafening Clarion or something like that. Yeah, I could buy that. I'm gonna go grab something to drink. I'll be right back.
Okay, let's see if we can make it. All right, we'll keep this hand. This hand's pretty good. Okay, we're playing as black green. We have to make sure not to get run over, which should be difficult. We're going to be looking to keep cards like a removal spell to deal with that or one of those. <clears throat> Play this Drake is like a little... A stopping um, a brick wall, I guess. A little bump in the road. It's not going to be able to block anything. Um, I think we're going to want that. We just have to clean up. I shouldn't have played that white. I know I should have played the white land. We're going to have to clean up somehow after my opponent um, like to put us over the top. The explosion is, is going to be a good way to just end the game. I kind of want more settled directages in the main deck, and I want to be able to like aggressively sideboard them out, because I actually think they're a pretty good game one card. Before all the Bane Fires come in, before you know they get whatever, um, more big mana cards after sideboard against control decks. Excuse me. This is what they hit off of. Okay, so they played. <clears throat> Just take it, and then we'll be able to play Teferi on a safe board, which will lead to Niv. Because, like, they've already used a Contempt. Niv is, like, a little weaker to Chupacabra in game one. Don't have a follow-up. Tilt. I'm just going to draw a card. Like, if they want to take their whole turn smacking this to Fairy, then go for it. The Deafening Clarion, after if we copy it with expansion, is going to be able to clear up like a Carnage Tyrant. Okay, another forest. So now we're just going to go. Clarion, they're going to draw a bunch of cards, but maybe I had to tuck the Midnight Reaper with the Teferi, and they're going to get the Reaper back, and then we ionize the Reaper, untap, and play Nav. Jump back the Reaper. So Vivian, no.
We're in trouble. I guess it was to settle the wreckage that gave them all the command. One, two, three. Whoa. You're just going to pass, try to explosion a creature, and then set up like Niv plus dive down. Just don't show me a Carnage Tyrant. Oh, shit. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to smoke this with the explore on the stack. Okay. Okay. All right. Blue, blue, red, red, red. Should have left up more mana than that, but. We're gonna give the Niv, um, Lifelink next turn, which might help us dig us out a little bit. We are going to have to run off some spells. We're not blocking this Tyrant. Man, if Dive Down gave one point of power, that'd be so sweet. Um, hit this. This is going to go up to eight, so we'll stay at seven. I deafening clarion draw a card. Okay, so I can kill this next turn if I hit this. Another carny boy. Okay. Whoa. That is nuts. So we go here. Now I just attack. Unfortunately, I can't give lifelink because I have to copy it. So we just attack Vivian. Yeah, we we got a chance. The fact that we're gonna be able to kill two Carnage Tyrants here is a pretty big game. Let's hope we don't get motoed out here. So Mansion. Okay, so this one, this one goes here. And this one goes here. I lose my Niv, but that's not that big of a deal. We have a backup, and we got a hero. We aren't out of it yet, but yeah, fine. That's not good. Go back both Carnage Tyrants after we worked so hard to get rid of them. 
We have a tube on top. Okay. So now we're just dead. What can we hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can hit dive down off of the NIV activation. And still be in it. All right, where's the Clarion? Wow, they're not going to go for it. That's odd. <clears throat> they did they bend the tube? Yeah, they bend the tube. Okay. Derp. Well, I mean, there's no difference between this card and this card, right? It's just a different matchup. Like, this card offers very little to none counterplay, and it kills you. doesn't directly kill you as fast as this card does, but it does end the game. So, like, whatever. This is fine. Like, this card's unreasonable. This card's unreasonable. You gotta give other decks unreasonable cards to have a chance. They're just like, do I even do anything? Should definitely play Nala, I think, yeah. Expansion. So one, two, three, four, yeah, we're just we're dead. Oh yeah, I mean this is definitely the fun police right here, this guy. Because you know, it offers basically zero counterplay. Niv doesn't really offer a lot of counterplay. But it's uh, it doesn't offer a lot of counterplay, but it is something. Like you 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 lose later after it. Okay, so shot goes. I kind of just want to cut all of my counter. Like I kind of want to bring these in and cut all of my clunky counter spells. And just like not even really interact with their creatures. Oh yeah, I mean Niv dies, but then you die. I'm gonna leave the negate and the stroke in the board and bring them in on the draw when I cut my syncopates. I don't think the counter spells are that good against this deck. Cause like this is basically a counter spell. We've got one, two, we have two. Maybe these Enigma Drakes probably aren't that great. So let's keep this in on the play. And let's do this. And then I can cut like a syncopate, two syncopates, bring in like a negate and a Drake or a negate and an ionize. I don't really want that many counter spells against this deck. Well, I want this cleansing nova. I didn't see this thing. So then yeah, we're gonna not bring this in. And just bring let's get these. Yeah, but they're both the same thing. Like, if somebody gets a Niv in play and their deck's constructed right, they win the game the next turn, or they win the game, virtually win the game the next turn. The Connor's Tyrant just, like, smacks you in the face and kills you. All right. Treasure map's gotta gotta do it for us. The Midnight Reaper from them was really solid.
There are better answers. Like, you can sideboard in better answers against Carnage turn around. You can't really sideboard in good answers against Niv. We, we will be praying on our upkeep. Really shocking because I would like to hit a Midnight Reaper. Probably won't counter anything but a Midnight Reaper because my counter spells are pretty important. Yeah, we're going to let that go. Carney T on top. So they've been the Carnage Tyrant. They have a Woodland Cemetery. All right, you can have that. I drew another one in the cemetery. All right, we're going to go for the natural draw here. So I clip this. Clip this here. Scry land on, I get three, six. So I can Clarion plus Syncopate. So I guess I might as well just do it. I think I'm gonna just take the two for here and then get out unscathed and syncopate something if I have to. I could just jam to rekindling Phoenix, I guess. Hi, Dylan. Glad you're fine with the larger Oh, thank you. Huh, can't cast it. Kind of funny. So we actually kind of have a dilemma. I kind of just want to play this. Like I kind of just want to draw a card. Try to hit a land drop. And then if I hit a land drop, play it, play Phoenix. If I don't play Treasure Map. Nice. This rekindling Phoenix has been pretty good against these black green decks. I've noticed. Yeah, we've been playing. I played that shadow for a while. Playing standard now because my death shadow deck is it's much easier to start off with. Like I've got a I've got like I've got a list right now that's like I think at worst the deck's like seventy two or seventy five, which is much easier to start working with. So playing standard for now. As I would like to try to find the best Niv deck for the Invitational. And I think that's either like a Jeskai control deck or a blue red Phoenix deck. I have Owen's Phoenix deck on tap for the next league after this. So after this league, I'm going to go take my dog out and then we can play Owen's deck. Okay. Oh, I knew that was there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I kind of just want to cleansing Nova this tyrant. I guess I can also just play the play the treasure map. I'm just gonna play the treasure map and attack. I'd like to get a little more out of my tyrant. 
out of my um, sweeper. And even if they uh, if they duress me, I can fish for one more. Yeah, I'm watching it as a great fish too. Yeah, it's, it is a lot of fun to play. If I can star and hit this memorial too, that'll just be gas. Because I'll probably get back their other tyrant. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I'm going to do anything in my upkeep. Okay. And I don't want to attack my Phoenix. So I'd like to at least make them use like a Chupacabra on it or something. And then next turn we can treasure map with our Tranquil Cove or Treasure Cove to set up Niv and dive down. I'll be worried about my opponent's going to like dig to a fine finality. If they play like a Chupacabra to kill my Kingdom Phoenix, then that's fine. Or kill my egg. I like sniping this memorial when it's when it's open. <clears throat> yeah, I really like I've, I've enjoyed playing Drake from Standard. I just my YouTube channel doesn't pick up that kind of uh, that kind of traffic. Just it's it's like. My standard videos just don't get enough as much uh, as much love as my modern ones do, which is understandable. And I play Death Shadow most of the time, anyways. So it's like my brand. Put Wild Wild Rope Walker and Duress. They've just been two. Let's see if they keep a card on top. They put two cards on top. Okay. Okay. So now we scry. Put on top. And now we have assembled the standard combo of Niv plus Dive Down. <clears throat> and you have what? We've got two Carnage Tyrants in their bin, so they likely only have one more in their deck. Uh, we are 1-1 one one of the league. We beat Black Green and lost to White Weenie. Just playing Adrian Sullivan 75 from the GP. Yeah, dude, it's Splinter Twin. Okay, they're going up with it. Blue Jade Light Ranger. Whoa. That is so bad.
Okay. What if I just fire this off to cycle my dive down? I probably do as the dive down is useless without um it's useless without uh I should have shot them without the Niv. Yeah, that was not a good one for the home team. If I had another Niv, I'm going to feel dumb, but. That was so stupid. I shouldn't have used my treasure cult. That's the second time I've done that this league. I keep forgetting it comes into play tapped. Um, what am I doing? I think I'm just going to do this. Because, like, I'm going to want to use my mana next turn to activate, like, to draw cards with Treasure Cove, and I just want, I don't want um, my hand to be clogged up. Okay, so we got double Jade Light. Okay, so we've got Memorial Folly in hand. And another jade light. We have swamp memorial, swamp. Nice. And then we can still deal with Carnage Tyrant and get this off of the battlefield. And we get a smoke to memorial. God, these stars are so sweet. Just get out of here. We got two swamps in hand. All right, I need some action. We did not find any action. I guess we deserve that after hitting like a nut draw. <clears throat> Okay, there's the wild boy. I'm just going to take a shot here. It's a not very big one. It's just a little wild boy. All right. Miss. Miss. Moto's lagging out. There's like the concession lag. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So on the draw, I don't want these syncopates. And we'll bring <clears throat> we'll bring these in on the draw. As they are much worse. The syncopates are. The treasure maps were really solid there. They just gave me extra mana. Let me like Kind of jump ahead of schedule. Appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. A little, little quiet night, but as my weekday standard streams tend to be. But. I'm glad you're all here watching 
watching some standard action. The Rekindling Phoenix was nice. That was a card that was pretty solid. What's his land base? Um, I think I'm going to keep. It's a little awkward, but an opt can help shape us up. And we have Treasure Map, which has been really solid for us. We hit, us, we hit one of our better cards in the matchup. We yield. If my opponent duresses me, I'll let them take Wildworth Walker. They pinned it. Okay. All right, we hit the the real MVP spell swindle. That's not good. Yeah, we're gonna get bodied by this Midnight Reaper. We're just going to have to try to fight through it. Jay Light Ranger, they bend it. They bend it, wow, they miss land drops. Just keep hitting lands. And what's nice is that we get to untap with Spell Swindle before they can Vivian us. That wild boy. Squire into the wall. So now we just... We actually just flip it. Now play this. I could just smack this thing. Bam, set him back a turn. But we're only taking three. I'm gonna spell swindle basically anything. Just because it's going to add to our loot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't quite play Niv and do this. Could just like star like one two three. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna leave all of my mana out too, more than likely. We're just taking three. It's not like they have a bunch of reach in their deck, and we can handle the first carnage timer at least. Now I could just spell swindle this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus six is sixteen, minus one. I could just spell swindle this to make mana and then go star, hit the memorial, play niv as well. One, two, three, six, seven, ten, sixteen, minus one, because we Actually, we don't even need to minus one. So it's 16 mana. Then we lose all of our treasure. Yeah, that doesn't seem worth it. We're just going to draw a card. All right, well, now that we have Niv dive down, I don't need one more. 
happy about what's going on here. That's annoying that I played that land. I thought it came into play untapped. Now I can't draw a card. <clears throat> Okay. Bottom. So now we're going to have to dive down to save our Niv, but we're going to draw a million cards here. Because this Op's going to draw us a card. This Dive Down is going to draw us a card. Deal damage too. Like if we find an expansion explosion, we might just kill our opponent. This has been a really awesome match. We're going to block first. And hope they don't have an answer for this. We have the spell pierce left in our deck, right? Yeah, we do. So now let's let that resolve. Add blue. Now I'm going to feel stupid if we don't get the option to block here. It's like if I had gone looking for the settle earlier. I think I tossed this game. I think there's some way that I tossed this game. I could have maneuvered myself to be in a position to win there. That's annoying. But I, I think I was good. I think I, I had the tools to win that game. I just tossed it, I think. Which is a little frustrating. I'm going to go over here to the deck list too. Just while well, I have my thoughts going. We don't need this second Bane Fire. For sure. I'm going back over here. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to keep Spell Pierce something on the draw, hopefully. Sacred Foundry. We play a mirror, we play against an aggro deck. We're playing against an aggro deck, we're so dead. So we're playing against a mirror. God, I hope I get to just snipe this treasure map here. Or search. Nope. I'm just gonna jam my treasure map. Um, oh, that didn't come into play. I guess it doesn't matter that it came into play tapped. <clears throat> I 
I'm play a little draw go, and eventually I'm just gonna bury them because I've got my card advantage working. Unless I get nibbed, which if I get nibbed, I get nibbed. I'm just gonna play this. I think I'm gonna fight over it too because. Oh, that version is nice in the mirror, but horrible against aggro. As my opponent is letting me know. That's not good. We have to draw gas quick. <clears throat> or I'm in, or I'm just not gonna make it. <clears throat> I can't block this thing. Because if, if I try to block this, then they're just gonna cast a spell and shoot the egg. You got it, man. You just coming straight at me. God, playing playing paper magic with Niv is gonna be is probably really annoying. But there's just so many triggers. Held back, okay. Yeah, I don't, I do not have a lot going on at the moment, Johnny. I'm in a lot of trouble. I can't block this nev, like, because just like the, the only, it's the only, the only thing I have going on right now is this uh, rekindling phoenix. Shock is interesting. What do you mean you've got like an expansion? Yeah, it's probably definitely an expansion. Come on. Come on. Jeez. <coughs> Tough draw. Three, six, eight. We had 13 in the top 18, but I kept a land, I guess. That clay land? Yeah, I did. Just drew land after land there. Which is not easy. I don't understand why my opponent isn't just jamming. Because, like, I think on paper, my deck's going to beat his if we go long. Now, like, I've actually got to, like, win the game which isn't gonna which is gonna be difficult but at this point all right we're just gonna run out this oh four blocker <coughs> I should have attacked, that was stupid. But at this point, if I don't have a blocker back, they can just easily 
kill me with like an expansion explosion or something like that. So Deathwing Clarion. One, two, three, four, five. So they have six open. One, two, seven. I don't even think I'm going to try to counter this because if I fight over this, they're just going to draw a million cards and like they're going to be able to pay for it and win the fight. And if they ionize me, then I'm just going to die. <clears throat> and there's got lifelink. At least my Phoenix comes back. All right, we're good. That was a tough draw. Just didn't really hit anything that could help us in the top 20 cards or so. But that's magic. That is magic. <coughs> okay. So for the mirror... I want this, I want Banefire, I want this, and the Binding, I don't want Shock, I don't want Clarion, I don't want Settle, the Phoenix is probably Small Ball, Lava Coils are going to hit the Drakes, which will likely be important. Cost. I'm going to keep the lava coils in. Like, we might be able to set up somewhere where we have our own nib. We can kill a nib with a lava coil, or we can just lava coil the drakes. <clears throat> God, that was a tough beating. Just kind of was a little unfortunate at the top of the deck. All right, I would like to play first. And my hand is kind of slow. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to keep it. We're going to be looking. <clears throat> We're going to be knocking the top of the deck. But I've got some decent cards in here, like the Disdainful Stroke. The Bane Fire is going to win me the game at some point. Even if I do get very far behind. Alright. We just draw lands for the rest of the game. That would be sweet. I'm just going to jam this. Didn't get negated. Nice. Force reveals the end step. <laughs> All right. We can deal with this. I want to hit another land so I can counter a Drake. I'm going to take a natural draw. I th no, it's important to hit the land drops. <clears throat> so we could get punished by and my opponent's um, Crackling Drake. No reason more than us. Okay. I feel kind of bad if I have to bane fire that thing. But I might have to. Well, I guess now I can expansion it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's just fire this off. Get this thing out of here, draw our cards. I kind of give my opponent free reign here, but okay, we can deal with that. Can I actually deal with it by just tucking to fairy? Oh, thank you for the host. We are Searsist. We're coming over from Sears' stream. I appreciate the one for showing up. <clears throat> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can just bane fire this, or I could tuck it. I kind of just want to tuck this thing and try to stroke it on the way down. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be the plan. <clears throat> yeah, I appreciate everybody for showing up. I'm going to hang out tonight. My name's Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. You guys are on my stream. We usually play some modern, but we're going to play a bit of standard tonight. Nice. No plays from our opponent is very good for the home team. I'm going to play this retreat so that if my opponent um, does play a Lyra, one, two, three, four, I can just counter it and bane fire them. I really let that go. I'm I was tempted to counter that, but it's probably greedy of me. We have this bane fire, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, currently. It's now my opponent really doesn't have to do anything. So maybe I, sh I should have jammed last turn. Especially if I had this expansion. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. So we're going to need two counter spells here. In order to get out of this, which they easily could have. Uh, this targets this. Put on top. Ooh, we're we getting heroic here. Nice. Untap, untap. <clears throat> so we should be good now. Game should be pretty well wrapped up. Our opponent missed land drops, which kind of sucks, but that's kind of the game. We're real play nib, tick up, hit one of these goblins. Just going to use my mana. We know they have a Lyra hanging out, but we're going to be able to deal with that. My ice machine just went nuts. Okay. We have the power couple of standard. Niv plus Teferi. So how's everybody in the chat going? All the new people that just came over. I hope you're all having a good night. I hope that Sears' stream went well. I'm glad you're all doing well. It's nice to get a new... New batch of people in hanging out. So now that they've got the, uh, we know they've got whatever it is in play. Um, they've got Legion War Boss. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm supposed to sideboard differently. Like my syncopates, <clears throat> syncopates still hits War Boss in the draw. 
I mean, I can just cut my Phoenix and bring in a seal away. Yeah, let's try that. Could cut some dive downs, but op plus dive down is just going to win me so many games. It's kind of cool that my opponent, it's interesting my opponents recognize like how how bad off it is. And even in a control mirror, they're bringing in a card like Lyra. I need to restart Moto. My computer is tweaking out. We're almost done this league. And then I'm going to take my dog out. And then we're going to play a league of Drakes after this. Try to get two leagues in tonight. How's it going, Tom? Uh, we'll keep this. We can counter a uh, a war boss, which is kind of what like is what we're looking to do in the early game. And the binding's nice. I'm playing uh, Adrian Sullivan's deck from the PT, Tom, or from the GP. Giving that a whirl. Look at this syncope. We almost sided this thing out. All I want to do is spell swim or something. There's the Drake. I'm just going to counter it again. Hope that I don't get... If I get to Fairy, then I'll just binding it. Our draw worked out pretty nice. <clears throat> oh man, no Teferi for them either. Now I wish I'd have saved that. <clears throat> Dude, Niv. Niv is a bad, bad boy. If they just slam their Niv here, I can't wait to just... Spell swindle it. I'm going to cast this just to look to hit my land drop. I'm going to shock this into play. I don't really want to run this Teferi out because I don't have anything to protect it. And it takes me off of like any kind of disruption that I could have. Let me do that. Put a card on top. We ditch the land. As I say, I was definitely going to spell Swindle and Niv there because it made it so I could go Ixon Binding plus Teferi next turn, which is what I'm looking to do in life. <coughs> we have inevitability just because we have four Nivs, and now that we have the dive down, as soon as we find one, we just had such a huge advantage here. I'm just gonna let this go. On my turn, I can uh, hit it with a lava coil. Because an argument to just letting it off to get an expensive card out of our hand, which spell swindle is. <coughs> I hit you with a lava coil. Okay, play my land. And we can sit here and play this dirtily game all day. The deck with four nibs is eventually gonna gonna prevail. I don't really want to use a binding on that thing. Let's fight over this. Chris says, we'll always have Baltimore. Yes, we will. Now they're priced. They have to counter this. Okay. He leaves tomorrow morning. I was pumped. I, I was sad I missed that his uh his event there. I've not played any of the standard format players. Just got the deck. Should buy into. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't play. I'm trying to figure that out. 
I really don't want a binding this thing. Like, I kind of just want to jam this to fairy. And, like, it's gonna, and I can just, like, minus on it. So his version of the deck only has, like, two nibs. I'm getting hit for eight next turn, dead next turn. Just want to try to get a little bit more information, but I think we're just going to kill this thing. We get nibbed, we get nibbed. Yeah, they had the negate. Now we're in a lot of trouble because this is going to be five damage left on the board here. Ugh. This is sad. We had such an abysmal game one draw that like it's just gonna put us behind here. I just got Bane fire me. Know what's going on here? Another explosion. Okay. Um, I can play my Teferi and tuck the Legion's War Boss at least. So let's plan on doing that, but maybe we'll find find a Niv. I should just grab my FT, that was stupid. Problem is the Niv doesn't even do it for me, right? Because they make a token. They mentor. I have to cast Dive Down in response to Niv. I just got it. Well, then they. Yeah, so we're going to be able to live through this turn because we, we cast Niv. They go. We go to Dive Down it. Yeah, he does. We get to kill one of these block one. Now we've got to do it now. Now we're just dead. We're dead anyways, right? Because it makes a token. Attacks, they mentor. We block. Still five. Yep. What a beating. What a beating. That sucks to lose that one. It's supposed to be like so far ahead in the mirror. We had a pretty abysmal game one draw. Which kind of killed us. Like in game one, we didn't, we just didn't hit what we needed. But that was a beating. All right, let's hit this. I'm going to go take my dog out, and then we're going to come back for a League of Drakes. Let's put this deck list up here. <clears throat> that was not good. So we're going to try Owens. Drake deck from this weekend. Let me stop my video.